experience is something that you cannot just write off and, and not to expect experience. So I think that just experience, it's all experience, and we just know what to expect and anticipation. Cool. Well, Joshua kept talking about just being a mind player. What's really going to be doing the talking that day? Well, it's, it's not much of a uh, talk here. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't know why, but always there was said like, I got under his skin because of the mind game and, and I heard it from my position pretty often and um, in this case, I just eat you alive in my mind, that's what I do, and I don't care about mind games, I mean, I don't care what he's going to say, it, it's, just, it's just the attitude and uh, I know I know if you want to win, you need to be the man, the man in the ring, so... It's just something that has um, been taught and I've been learned. Uh, I've learned it in the past, and there's not much of a mind game in my case. Of course, mental strength is very important. If you if you're going to be deployed and you're not okay with some issues in the family or you can't focus on your job, so you, you just deployment to, for me it's, it's my camp. So I'm shutting off my business. My any other issues and just there's only one goal that you're working up to. Does it bother you at all that you never got a chance to get revenge on Fury? Um, it's not bother me because I cannot change it. So what I can't change, why should it bother me? It's just, it's just, it's just Start right off the shelf. Yeah, exactly. Vladimir, where are you training? I will train in Ukraine and then in Austria. So I took it. Vladimir, so your fight is April. Deontay Wild is fighting in, in February. Will you be watching that? Will you be having any interest in uh, the outcome of that fight? Or are you focused on it yours? It is interesting. I would love to watch it. Who is he fighting? Uh, he's fighting Gerald Washington. He's the last opponent. Pretty much got cancer. So, so, so. If, if I can see it, um, uh, it's in March, you said? I think uh, February. Fe February. Well, I'm, I'm going to watch it. If not, then we will wait again. The American heavyweight has always been a part of history of boxing. Is that something that's missing in the sport right now, a valid American heavyweight? Um, in chess, um, there is a saying, to see what your opponent see, sees, sit where, they, where he sits. So, and I'm turning myself into the fans. And I'm like, okay, if I'm a fan, do I really care about nationality? I want to see a good fight. Yes, nationality, my, my, my boy, whatever, like, what happens? supportive, and if he comes from a country, but it's secondary. In the first grade, I just want to see a great fight. And nationality is, is, is something that's uh, not the first line. That's why I believe, I believe, boxing eventually needs to be changed in a certain way, because um, amateur program is very important. The amount of fights and, and uh, support for the fighters. Unfortunately, we don't have in boxing a uh, union that protects fighters, as for example the NFL has. We don't have pensions, we don't have and all the fighters investing their health and their time into the sport. If something is going wrong, they're, they're, um, they're just on their own. And uh, that should be changed. And, that's, some, that's another topic but which really bothers me, so hopefully in the future I can Your opponent, he's never been 12 <coughs> rounds before. Is that something that you're looking maybe perhaps to take him into the mid to late rounds to kind of maybe wear him down because he's never been in those waters before? Um, well, it's, uh, it's one of the topics, yeah. I mean, late rounds, how are you going to do it in late rounds? Uh, but what am I going to do in the, f in the first rounds? I mean, in the beginning, I cannot run around and do nothing, so... Um, it, it's just something that you need to, that's why boxing match is, is amazing in a certain way because there's so many plans and so many issues that it, you need to cover and what if it's, you're not going to have a chance to go to the late round, so you need to take care of it in the beginning. So it's, it, it's complicated but it's simple also when you understand who you're going to face and if you're well prepared. What do you see in his style that might give him some problems? I think he's an extremely talented guy, and uh, as I just mentioned in the press conference, I was, I still I am going to be his fan. Uh, I, uh, even, this sounds weird probably, 
I don't know if I'm going to fight him, but uh, I think he's an extremely talented guy, extremely athletic. And um, even if he's strong and he's all the strength that he has, as anybody, he has his weak sides. My goal and my task to discover it, to see it and use it. Did you spar him before? Did you spar AJ before? Yeah, yeah, he was my sparring partner in uh, 2014. Amir, what, uh, what do you think about these days the heavyweight trying to find guys as long, tall, fast to match the bar that you set up in the heavyweight division, like your size and your speed? Nowadays, heavyweights are now big and long. Can you comment on the type, the, the type of breed almost that they, they they're, they're creating? With, with, with size doesn't and matter. You. Size doesn't matter in boxing as well as in soccer. We have Ibrahimovic and we have Messi. I mean, like right, totally right, right, different right, right. sizes, and each of them has their own advantage for speed and, and uh, how quick they can play. In boxing, it's pretty much the same. You have Mike Tyson, and you have um, yeah, well, um, you have. Somebody else that is tall is like Lennox Lewis, for example. It's totally opposites, and then, um, and then different times. So, um, shoulder fighters are more successful in younger age than later because of the speed and the strength. So, taller fighters are more successful in their, in their later age, scientifically speaking, uh, 